All right, this is a quick video just to walk you through some examples using the soil textural triangle. All right, so let me give you a couple examples that will help us understand how to work these. These are similar to problems number, I believe, let's see, problems number four and five in your class notes. Um, and so let me walk you through it. So uh, basically right here we've got uh, our three numbers, and we know that we're going from biggest particle to smallest particle. All right, so our first number is talking about sand. All right, so let me use uh, red to circle sand. All right, our second number is going to be silt. I'll represent that with blue. And our last number is going to be clay. All right, so let me write those out. Clay. And we got silt. All right, and then we've got sand. All right, so there are three. Um, and let's uh, do what we did in class here. So we got 10% of our soil is sand. All right, we see that sand is at the bottom here. So I'm going to go to where it says 10%. I'm going to make a circle here. All right, and then we'll go to silt. Silt is on the right side right here. And so let me hit it where it says 20%. So let me draw a circle here. All right, and then finally clay. We have clay 70%. All that adds up to 100%. So that works. Uh, let me go to the left side where clay is represented. And let me go to 70% and circle that. Now, we need to figure out which direction we're going to head. All right, and so we'll start with clay. Clay, I'm going to underline these numbers. That shows me the direction that we want to head. So if I go put a, num a line straight under that number, that shows me the direction I'm going to head. So with clay, I'm always going to go horizontally. All right, so let me draw a line from 70 all the way across to 30. All right, now let me go with uh, silt. Let me use blue. All right, so I start at 20%. Let's figure out where we got to head on this one. So I'm going to underline all these numbers right under the number, and that's going to give me the direction I need to go. So I'm underlining that number and just extending it. So all of these need to go this direction. So let me take my 20. I'm going to follow this line all the way down until I hit the end. All right. So we've already got our intersection, but let's just double check and make sure the sand is correct there. So sand, I'm going to underline these as well, and that'll give me the direction I want to head. I'm putting a line under that number and extending it, and that'll show me the direction I need to head for sand. So let me draw that. Draw that all the way up. It's not going to be perfect, but boom, it intersects right there. And our intersection shows us all right, that we've got a clay, a clay, primarily clay, soil. So we classify it as clay, we would say it is sticky. All right, so that would be problem, uh, just an example problem number one. Let me erase all this and let's start over with our second problem. Right, this is a little trickier because we don't have um, even numbers of 10 or divisible by 10. So let's start with our sand, our biggest number. We've got 5% of this soil is sand. So let me circle 5% sand. All right. And then let's go silt. Got 15% silt. So let me go to silt. Let's go 15%. And then our, our last number is clay. 80% clay. So we go to 80, circle that. Remember, we underline these numbers, that'll show us what direction we want to head. So with clay, always going this way. Right? With silt, we underline this, extend it, always going this way, down and to the left. All right? And then finally, with sand, if I underline that, extend it, we're always going to be going up and to the left. All right. Let's try it. So um, let me start with clay. I'm going to go straight across. Let me go to silt, down and to the left. All 
right? And then we'll go sand up and to the left. Whoops. All right, there we go. So we get our intersection there. And it's the same as last time in terms of what it is. It's going to be a clay soil, all right? But different location. This one's actually more concentrated in clay, 80% clay. All right, um, those are two examples that should help you figure out um, four and five in your notes and also complete that exit ticket. And you're good to go. Email me if you have any questions.